Half a day. I'm Captain Glenn Shepard, Joint Region Marianas Regional Engineer. There's been a lot of public discussion about an increase in the water rate that Navy is charging Guam Water Works Authority. Today I'd like to take this opportunity to explain the rate increase and save the discussion on integration efforts for a later date. In fiscal year 2015, our water rate increased from $5.41 per thousand gallons to $7.59 per thousand gallons. The primary reasons are twofold to make required investments in system upgrades and to recoup accumulated losses that the Navy incurred between fiscal years 2007 through 2014. For the last seven years, the Navy's water revenue has not kept pace with the cost to collect, treat, and deliver water. Regulations imposed on the Navy restricted us from recovering prior year accumulated losses until 2015. In addition, with the release of the 2016 presidential budget, the Navy will begin to lock in our fiscal 2016 water rate. We will share this rate with GWA at the earliest possible moment. Let me explain our unique situation. The Navy is different from most municipal utility companies as the Navy cannot sell bonds to raise money for major repairs and modernization projects. The Navy must break even in cost and revenue and as a result recover money it needs for operating costs and repairs through its rate structure. The water Navy sells to GWA is supplied to customers in Agate, Santa Rita and parts of Petey. GWA's water supply to the rest of the island comes primarily from the northern aquifer. That being said, GWA's water rate to its customers does not change based on location. For example, an Agate residential customer has the same rate structure as a debtor doe residential customer. GWA is also mitigating any potential financial burden and impact to consumers by purchasing less water from Navy each year. In closing, implementing rate increases for GWA was not an easy decision. We understand that any increase, no matter what size, affects finances. The Navy will continue to work closely with GWA and the Commission on Consolidated Utilities to look for ways to minimize impact while delivering safe and reliable drinking water to the island community. Thank you for listening.